Lil Nas X dominates 2021. Zach Wild hits us with some doom. Britney is free, baby. And Olivia Rocks gives us the princess treatment. Yes, Zach Wild always makes for a good time. All right, everyone, I'm Katie Darrell, and this is the Music High Five. We're gonna get rolling with the quick hits. Adele's one night only concert special on CBS had more viewers than the Oscars, and her 30 album is finally available. Katy Perry is back with her staple 2008 black hair. Snoop Dogg's album, The Algorithm, is out now, featuring fabulous Jadakiss and more. And Harry Styles has launched a nail polish and skincare line called Pleasing. So we're done with the quick hits. Let's jump into some rock star interviews and the music high five. Number one, are you ready? T-Swift just released her re-recording of her 2012 album, Red. She's already dropped two new music videos, the 15-minute short film for All Too Well, directed by the artist herself, and I Bet You Think About Me, directed by Blake Lively. And if that doesn't get you energized, just head to Starbucks, where they collabed with Swift to let customers enjoy Taylor's latte. Number two, Zach wants you to get wild for this album. Black Label Society's upcoming album, Doom Crew Incorporated, has fans chomping at the bit. Frontman Zach Wilde gives us an inside look. It's a bit of a, a two guitar album. Let's dive into that. Oh, well, we had Father Dario playing guitar on the record. He's awesome, he's amazing. He, he can play guitar, he sings, he plays piano, he does dishes, he does laundry, he makes an amazing chicken piccata. Uh, the latest single, I am obsessed with the music video because it looks like it was so much fun. And uh, there's bath salts involved and cannibalism. I said, Father Justin, what I want to do is capture my high school prom from 1985 in Jackson Memorial High School in New Jersey. And I think we captured it right down to the bath salts, the way the band looked, and also the guy getting his arms ripped off and being beaten profusely. But that was just basically another day in the life at Jackson Memorial High School in New Jersey. You can actually watch my full interview with Zach Wild right now as part of Access TV's At Home and Social Series. Head over to our website, download our app, check out our YouTube channel, you will find it. Number three, Lil Nas X has taken over 2021. GQ just unveiled Lil Nas X as their Musician of the Year. Lil Nas X has lit up the music scene since his smash hit, Old Town Road, which spent 19 weeks on the Billboard Hot 100. His 2021 debut album, Montero, hit number two on the Billboard 200 with three top 10 singles. Plus, he's making his debut on The Maury Show. It's one of the most scandalous stories we've ever had on The Maury Show. We fell in love at football practice and we could not keep our hands off of each other. Number four, Olivia Rox's fairy tale moment. Olivia Rox rose to stardom after becoming an American Idol finalist. Her fifth single is called Princess and it comes with a fairy tale music video. This is your fifth single. It's called Princess and it has a very magical music video. Was it as romantic to film as it is to watch? It was. And it was amazing because we actually had this famous Italian actor come in who plays the prince and he was stunning. I mean, I'm sure you've seen him. <laughs> How did your experience on Idol prepare you for the musical success that you've had? Well, it's funny. I feel like I've been in the industry my whole life. Definitely being on American Idol, it was amazing. I, I gained so many fans from it. So then to be able to follow that up with my debut CD, Pop Rock, literally 12 songs that I wrote, getting such reception for it is just remarkable. So I, I feel, feel honored about that. We'll have more of my interview with Olivia Rocks coming up later in the show. Number five, hashtag free Britney accomplished. After 13 years, Britney Spears' conservatorship has officially ended. A California judge announced that the order is no longer required. Britney took to Instagram to express her joy and excitement for the next step. A rumored interview with Oprah just might be in the works to set the story straight in Britney's own words. Whew. The music world has been busy, busy. Let's go ahead and check out some super sweet new music videos. Mac Lamour and Windsor are ready for their 2022 come up in next year. And Jojo Mason ushers in Christmas love. As promised, here is more of this week's featured interview with Olivia Rox. Singing and songwriting aside, uh, apparently you did your own stunts in the video as well. So I had to learn to canter um, for this music video. But what was difficult 
is I had to learn how to canter in a long dress with a flowing cape. And horses don't like that when there's things on their back besides the saddle. And you know, it's <laughs> doing this flopping in the wind. And there's um, a sad story outside of this music video where you yeah. filmed the location um, was severely damaged in the uh, Wolseley wildfires, right? It was, yeah. We were actually like the last production to film there right before the fires. I remember we were watching on the news because our house is very close to Paramount Ranch, which is where we filmed. But it was so sad because so many things have been filmed there. You have uh, over 2 million streams on Spotify. Are we gonna get another tune before the holiday season or do you think you're gonna hit pause? What do you think? <laughs> Probably not before the holiday season, except for my Christmas song, It's Christmas Time, which I did actually do with my father, Warren Hill. So he's um, featured on that song. And it was it was wonderful to get to record and release that one, especially that one being an original because a lot of times people don't release original Christmas songs. Um, so that was, that was very fun and we have that out right now. Um, so you can check that out. <laughs> Olivia Rox's latest single is called Princess. It's a love story. It is a love song. It is a <laughs> ballad. Do you have a lot of ballads on your playlist? I do have a lot of ballads on my playlist. I, um, I used to listen to so many ballads growing up. And I remember I would always write ballads. Um, and my parents would be like, hey, are you going to write an up-tempo song one of these days? <laughs> but I love, I love ballads. I feel like when you can have that slow, sultry song, it, it brings so much more meaning, um, sometimes even than an up-tempo. Let's do singing for dummies here because your voice <laughs> has been compared to Katy Perry. Apparently yes. there's a, a four octave range that you both share. What does that mean? <laughs> four octave range, okay, it basically means uh, we can hit a very wide scale. So if you look on the piano, um, you're you're not just hitting this, this small like C to C. Right, you're literally having four octaves, so C, 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 or whatever note it may be from. Uh, but it's, yeah, it's cool. It's something I work towards um, every day. I always warm up every single day because um, I think consistency is key. And also um, not being scared to try and hit really high notes and really long notes and just, just going for it. Well, you've certainly gone for it. The latest single by <laughs> Olivia Rocks is called Princess. It's amazing. It's beautiful. Um, it will warm your heart. Thanks so much for being here today. Oh, thank you so much for having me. It is time to round up some rock and roll dates. Let's go ahead and mark your calendar. Justin Bieber's Justice Tour begins February 18th. Tickets are on sale now. Pearl Jam has rescheduled their 2020 tour to start May of next year. And Journey has announced a tour with Billy Idol and Toto set for February 22nd. Music news is always happening, so keep listening. I'm Katie Darrell, and that's the Music High Five.